In this video, I'm going to cover why your business might not be profitable and a few key reasons why that might be happening. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mario. I'm a naval engineer and a podcaster and an author of the book, The Blueprint to Building Your Online Empire and course creator for the Online Business Startup University. Now, a lot of people start side hustles because they want to make extra money. That is exactly why I started my online business, right? My side hustle. They want to do this because they want to have a better life. They want to have a little bit of extra financial freedom. Can you guys relate to that? So anyway, when I first started my business, it was a little bit of a failure to generate income, enough income, or to generate enough profit after my overhead expenses and stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to start making money in your business or how to improve the money that you're already making in your business. Part of the reason why I wasn't making enough money in my business at first was because I didn't have a product to sell. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on in this video. So if you're not making enough money, first, you need to evaluate your business model. What does that mean? Tip number one is you're afraid to sell. Do not be afraid to sell. You have to build an entry offer and get them into your funnel. What does that mean? What does that look like? I talk about that in chapter four of this book where, I, where we talk about funnel leads um, and customers and how to run customers through your funnel, right? In chapter four of this book. So if you want to get this book, um, you can get it for free at bit.ly forward slash coach the biz. Did you see what I did there? OK, it, it doesn't have to be something intricate or big like that. You just need a lead magnet. In this case, I'm using the book as a lead magnet. Right. So and by the way, this book will definitely help you out. And in chapter four, it really does talk about how to gain, uh, acquire customers and build a relationship with them and things like that, how to run them through a funnel. So get this book is free bit.ly forward slash coach biz like you see on the screen. But anyway, this is simple as that. You have something, maybe it's a PDF or a, a tutorial or some kind of master class and you just invite people. Tip number two is to focus on phenomenal customer service. And in this book in chapter three, I talk specifically about how to do that. So in the morning, right, I wake up, I drink my coffee and then most people, when they get done with their coffee, they will go on their phone and they will start scrolling on social media, right? What I do is I'll check my email for people who have signed up for the book, for people who have sent me an email or people in my uh, Facebook groups or things like that on my email list. Those are the first things that I respond to in the morning. So you got to show those people the most love first. This is how to increase revenue. For instance, yesterday I had this person, she's been following me for a long time. She's been on my email list for a long time. I recognize her name. She sends me an email and in the email she says, Hey, you know, I've shifted my business. I want to start doing stuff on YouTube. I need to, some help. I don't know where to start on YouTube right now. I don't have any tutorial. Well, I think I do. I did have tutorials on YouTube, but I, I don't think they're on this channel anymore. But anyway, I looked through my videos. I didn't have a video to help her with. Right. So I said, look, here's a video. It was something from Think Media about how to start up a YouTube channel. And then she also asked me, I also want to know what you have to offer. So I so I sent her that email and I said, hey, check out this video to start your YouTube channel. And then here's what I have to offer. You can enroll in my biz from scratch course. Now, this is a person that's been on my email list for several years. Right. She hasn't bought anything from me yet, but I've been putting out videos for a long time. She was on my email list back when I wrote my first book. So sometimes. So the best thing to do to, to build revenue is to answer emails, answer subscribers, answer DMs, jump in groups and give comments to people that are your potential clients. That should be your focus. And if you do that, you will drum up more customers and more money, more business. So do you see how all of this is working together? Right. Step one, build an entry offer. Like I mentioned, you can say, hey, are you struggling with X? Well, if you are, I'd like to help you with that by doing this here. Sign up here to get this thing. I'll send it to you just like that. You're not trying to sell anything, but you're offering them a solution to a problem. This next thing is going to be hard for some of us to do. It's to streamline and simplify your business model. And I still have these, but back in the day, I used to have a bunch of online courses. I used to have a bunch of email sequences, a bunch of lead magnets, and it started to get way too much, way too overwhelming to manage. Right. So what I did was I just scaled all that down to one 
course, right? One major course, one major lead magnet, which is this book, because this book has everything that the course covers. And it also has just like a way to get you started. So I'm using this as a lead magnet. And then down the line, after I help people with different tutorials and different things, they can start to structure their online business. Then I send them to my course. But it's one course. It's not a bunch of courses. It's not a bunch of lead magnets. It's not a bunch of email sequences. Because when you do that, you have to start monitoring, you know, CTRs, click through rates, how many people open, how many people for this. But if you're doing that for multiple products, that gets overwhelming. And then you start to lose track of some things, some metrics start to slip through the cracks. So just focus on one particular platform. Simplify your business so that it's less for you to manage. Now, the problem is not the information. People have the information. You're watching this video because you want to learn something. But it's more about the implementation that people have an issue. Um, well, how do I start? What do I do next? How do I organize all these things? Those things are the challenges that you might have a problem with and that most people have a problem with. They might have ideas. They have the information. They just don't know how to implement it. And also, like the first tip I mentioned, if you don't have a product, you cannot make any money. Right. Most people, they want to sell something like coaching or services or something like that, uh, but they haven't fully developed it or they start making YouTube tutorials and they don't have anything to offer people. Now, in my biz from scratch course, I have a module there that teaches you all about how you can create your first product simple and easy. It can be an ebook or online course. And I'll leave the link to that in, in the description. The course also covers great ways to create offers or make offers or get people into your funnel so that you can serve them, sell to them, keep them returning back as customers. But let's review what we went over so far. Don't be afraid to sell. Selling, people look at selling like, oh, I gotta, I gotta ask this person to, to give me money. I gotta, I don't like, I don't like that, right? It's like, you might feel like it's charity or something like that for some people who like don't like asking people for money. Or you might, I don't, I don't want to ask people for, for their email address. People, people's attention are getting taken by a lot of things, right? If you are doing the research, if you're creating something to help people, then you are providing a service to them. And it is your responsibility, it's your obligation to help them th with the solution to their problems in exchange for them paying you. It's that simple. So you bring them into your funnel. Again, similar to how I did. If I'm talking about something in this video and it's in my book, I might say something like, hey, this thing that we just talked about in this video, it's in chapter five in this book, it's going to give you a plan on how you can go from step one to step two. Here's how you get it. Again, to get this book, it's at bit.ly forward slash coach biz. You can use this same type of strategy in anything that you're trying to sell. Two, focus on customer satisfaction and value. Let me ask you a question. Who do you think people would gravitate more towards? Would you, do you think they would gravitate more to the person who's always saying, uh, sign up for my email list, buy my stuff, do this for me, you know, subscribe here? Or... Do you think they would gravitate more to, to the person that is jumping in groups and, and leaving helpful tips and comments or answering emails when they when you have an issue? If somebody has an issue and they send you an email and you're responding back to them when they're ready to buy, do you think they're going to gravitate more towards the person who's always asking for something or the person that's always giving something? Of course, people would gravitate to the person that's going to show them attention and help them. And that's what you need to do. And I can tell you that that's what happened in my business when I started to pay attention to the people who were like, instead of trying to get new leads and customers, but the people who had already subscribed, who had already bought my books or had already read my books or consumed my content, those people were so much easier to, you know, to give them a solution and they would offer me money in exchange for that because they were already in my ecosystem. In review of this last tip is to streamline and simplify. Get rid of all the other stuff, focus on one project and whatever it is you have, the course, book, and take some time just focusing on that one. Perfect the messaging, perfect uh, what's in the course, perfect whatever it is or the book, whatever. But perfect that first. Once you get that perfected, then you can branch out and do other things. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out this other video here because there's a ton of strategies and uh, tips that I give on helping you grow your online business. And don't forget to get this book. It is free. Um, it is a blueprint, a path. It's a proven plan to help you go from where you are now to where you want to be in the future. So get that. It's free. It's my gift to you. You can get that at bit.ly forward slash coach biz. And I will put the link in the description also. Thank you. Subscribe, like, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.